Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Today Session, and I hope you're having a great day. Today, let's discuss about the power of investing, and then there's 3,000 rupees, Indian rupees invested, and three years ago, would have been become a 50,000 rupees. I just wanted to find out which stock was there. Well, let's go is. ahead. I have an account in IFFL, so we are opening an IFFL since I have this account already. So, yeah, I mean, if you look at my portfolio, let's go to my portfolio. Leave it there so you don't need to know what I have. The stock so, we are discussing was KPEL. I'll get a little bit in detail about that stock. So, as you can see, the second stock from the scrolling see the average price i invested was 28 rupees obviously i had 100 stocks and then i'll tell you why i sold yesterday 40 of them and then it is trading at the rate of 580 rupees so this stock when i say average price 28 i'll go back to you and then i'll show you this is kp energy it's an energy driven stocks which is into the wind energy and so on and so forth so as you can see january 2021 the stock was about 27 rupees so let's say anywhere between january till march it was trading about uh, four months five months about 30 rupees on an average and now as you can see um now it is around 600 rupees it touched 600 but then now it is really trading in the live in my uh my iffl platform you can see it is trading at then 581 rupees as we speak so now what i wanted to mention this to you is so 3000 rupees invested of 100 stocks would have given you almost 19 times i'm not talking about the percentage 19 times so one lakh invested equal to 19 lakhs so i'm not saying that you need to invest right now so what the idea is that the power of investing you need to understand the two three things that you really need to keep in mind any time is a good time to invest any investment over a period of time will give you a great returns so it's same like you're planting a seed and then you nurture it and then leave it for it to grow as per the nature and then eventually it gives you the fruits. But of course you need to decide on which area you want to invest and how it will help you to uh, give based on whatever the objectives, financial objectives you may have. So I just thought like power of, I just thought of sharing it. It's This is one of the, one of only one of the stocks that which gave me um, close to, 19 times returns well obviously whatever you put you're going to get back you put 100 rupees you're going to get back equal to 19 times of 100 rupees uh, so you put you invest 10,000 you invest 1 lakh your returns are based on that you're now going to get something that you put 1 rupee and then 10 years down the line it became 10 crores that's not going to happen in investment and then so does it in nature whatever offers you for you to uh, see the results so idea is that you need to anytime is a good time to invest and then have a little bit of knowledge and then see around and these things can easily uh, give you a great returns eventually uh, as you move across in your careers because we all make money but we forget to invest i'm not talking about savings you need to invest savings is for your currency to devaluate but investment Put in the right instruments will definitely give you maybe not excellent results but definitely the best results compared to your savings this is no way to tell you that you need to invest in this specific talk but i just thought of showing the power of investing three years ago if you invested just three thousand rupees for 100 stocks would i give you fifty thousand today now that's something that you need to ask yourself does the banks can give you that returns in three years or maybe perhaps i mean maybe that's the you know over inflated stock which is going up but eventually some of the stocks you might see uh, in my portfolio which is always doing well in giving about 30 percent 14 percent 25 percent as you can see on top on right corner the average returns which i have some funds given me 24 percent which is definitely way much better than the banks can give me uh, but you had to uh, study yourself and you had to understand how it works and then where you want to invest and what are the areas and what are the stocks that you can have a confidence to stay invested for a long term. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps. And then I suggest you, whatever you are, whichever the stage you are, starting from 10 rupees, 100 rupees, 1000 rupees, whatever the amount you have, best time to invest is right now. Because 
it's never too late in any risk. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps.